Alright friends, welcome back to more Alien Isolation. Uh, we've just finished, uh, I don't know, waking up, getting dressed, and now we're going to go onto the bridge of the Torrens. And check Hope in you all had a restful journey. Cool Verlaine. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. And her she cool was shirt. wrecked when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Jinxed it. Connor, how are we doing? Awesome. G loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do that. After I get my briefing document, those two just walk past theirs. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Hello, Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrent. Say again. The station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Jinx it again. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. Just keep moving. Now we've done it. And now we get to uh, have happy fun times on the station. Yeah. I do love the fake VHS lines and everything all over the loading screens. Really takes me back to my childhood. Probably aging myself there, but uh, you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> 
Come on, and up you get. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Uh, let's exit the airlock. And then we need to get changed. Yeah. Take off the spacesuit. And then we need to go find help. So, uh, there wasn't anything lying around in here, no. Let's go. Ooh. Uh, okay, right. I think I'm just getting the, the jump up myself because, uh, it's not like I don't know what happens. I know when the alien shows up. It's just the music and the sounds and everything just set the tone so well and so creepily that it's uh, it's hard not to get a little bit heebie-jeebie when you're uh, when you're starting out, especially when it does things like that. Oh, I mean, damn! Quick check. No. Nope. Fantastic! Shit. Oh well. Guess we get to go in the happy fun time tunnels! some of that. And the computer. Folder corrupted. Decommissioning one. Decommissioning two. Folder corrupted. And a Oh, okay, right. Oh. Yep. That is... That's one hell of a fall, really. God damn. Ah, oh, you got that right. This'll help. No, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna save it. Cause I know where I'm going. Also, I'm a giant baby who has the gamma turned up, so I can see what I'm doing. Just punch that. Go through here. Yoink everything. Everything I can find. I get a bit obsessive about picking up ingredients in crafting games. Not that I will necessarily find all the recipes, but really the only ones I actually truly want are the uh, are the flamethrower, not the flamethrower, are the Molotov and the noisemaker, really, and the health kit. I don't care about anything else. There's some scrap. Turn the radio off. Hello? Anyone here? Come on, Ripley. Horror movie rules. You don't... You don't... You don't go, oh... Who's there? Is there anyone there? 
come out. That's just waiting for someone to jump out of the shadows at you. There we go. I kept noticing in a lot of playthroughs people miss those maps a lot of the time or they didn't go up to them and see what they were. So they missed out on the uh, the extended maps and uh, I always want the maps. So it frustrated me a little bit. There's some power. I heard that. Okay, let's see. Gotta restore the power. Uh, moved our stash. I'll go and get that stuff in a minute. Goodbye from Seekson. Audio. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait's up. Very good, and restore power to departures. Bye, kids. I heard that. I can hear thumping. I know you're there. Okay, right, let's go to that stash. Give me that health kit blueprint, yes. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Excellent, okay. And we're gonna craft a med kit. I wish there was a way of uh, making sure you could craft more than one. But, uh, and another one, just because I want to, I want to max these things out as much as I can. There we go, now we have three. Ah ha ha. Okay. And let's get some replacement scrap. Empty. Oh man, okay. I keep wanting to press L1 to run. And that's not what that is. Okay. Through we go. Uh, not touching the live wire. Oh boy. Grab command B in the sensor. Very good. Through into the, the main hall. What happened here? Anarchy, chaos, and giant black alien beasties. That's what happened here. Okay, and we're coming to the end of a recording, so uh, we will continue on in the next video. Cheery bye!